so today we are going to talk about setting sleeves and um, who can remind us what is a sleeve alex alex and Thank you, Anne. Um, yes, a sleeve is the outer part of a garment and we have different types of, of sleeves. But in this case, we're going to talk about the satin sleeve. So a satin sleeve, uh, the armhole of the sleeve is slightly longer than the armhole of the body. This creates more volume in the sleeve cap for your shoulder and upper arm. Typically, a sleeve will have anywhere from three quarter to one inches of extra length to ease into the armhole measurements. This sleeve has about three quarter of ease. In the steps below, I'll go through how to ease the extra length in while setting in your sleeves. So let's start how we prepare a sleeve. First, we pin the front and back together the shoulder seam and measure the armhole. Alternatively, you can walk your pattern. Take note of your measurements, then subtract the armhole from the sleeve cap measurements. It should be somewhere between 1 to 2 inches. This is your ease. The sleeve I'm working with uh, so far has 1 inch. So after doing that, huh, we take a soft measuring tape and measure the sleeve cap. Then we pin the front and back together at the shoulder team and measure the armhole. Alternatively, you can work on your pattern. Take note of your measurements then subtract the armhole from the sleeve cap measurements. It should be somewhere between 1 to 2 inches. This is your ease. The sleeve I'm working again with here, it's one inch. I hope you're understanding. Are we together, please? Thank you. Thank you. Then, we see the front and back of the garment. We see the front and back of the garment along the shoulder and side seamer. Sew up any bust that, that may be part of the armhole too. Press the side seam allowances. I've written SA in short to mean the seam allowances. Open. Sew the sleeve along the underarm. Press open the seam allowances and turn inside out. Alex, are we together? <laughs> So, after doing that, I want us to talk a little bit of uh, generally sleeves, uh, which uh, we had mentioned earlier in our previous lesson, uh, but they are not in the slides. So, we talked about the setting. We talked about the setting. We talked about the raglan sleeve and the kimono. Anne had talked about them, and I'm just going to brush through about that. So, raglan sleeve, generally, they cover, they don't have a seam line at the armhole, and kimono is a little bit lower than the raglan. Are we together? Thank you. Thank you, class. And um, again, I'm going to talk about now the kimono in particular. I'm going to talk about the kimono sleeve in particular. 
as you were saying, you were talking about the kimono and had explained earlier what it entails. And uh, I told you what it entails in kimono sleeve generally. So about the next slide, what you're going to talk about, as you can see, uh, it is procedure five, huh? as you can see in your slides. So some patterns will have marks specifically front is point and back is point. I use the front and back notches as my guides. Then you set the sewing machine to the longest stitch length, also known as the busting stitch, or you can say the gathering stitches, which is okay. Then use the is points or notches. Start on one, sewing a quarter an inch, then three quarter of an inch from the edge, depending on your, what did I say is, is seam allowance. Is that correct class? Then on procedure six, what we do, we line up notches and underarm seam with side seamer. Make sure you pin the right side of the sleeve to the right side of the body. Pin first at the underarm, shoulder, notches. Huh? Distribute the sleeve is starting about one inch up from the front and back notches. Start pinning around the sleeve. Tap in equal parts, distributing sleeve evenly. If you have more ease, such as two inches or more pins than I have illustrated, you still have to use them. So that was procedure six. As we, you can see we are in, on slide seven, which I'm going to talk about how you take the seam ripper. You undo all the tack and few stitches on either the side. Smooth the tack and pin in place. Go to the sewing machine and close the armhole stitch line. That is a procedure you, you don't have to forget because you have to undo all the stitches that you had tucked. Then procedure eight, which is the final procedure. From the inside, press the seam allowances towards the inside of the sleeve cap. This is just to ensure they lie flat. From the outside, press using a sleeve ironing board or the smaller round end of the normal sized ironing board. Use a little bit of steam to shape and set the round of the sleeve cap. Okay, so my next slide, I want you to look at those pictures well. The first one, there is somebody with a tape measure there. And um, he's measuring the armhole of the sleeve, as you can see, the sleeve head. The sleeve head has some pattern markings. has but some pattern markings huh? which are there so we have some pattern markings you have one that is a straight green line the sleeve is labeled well there are seam allowances as you can see and it's showing us even the under seam where the under seam is what a sleeve cap is it is there and also the third picture is showing us how to attach a sleeve there is a sleeve there which is being attached as you can see and it is showing us how it is being well attached. Then, the last slider, I want you to look at these details of the part of the cloth, which is a sliver. As you can see, we have two pictures there with sleeves. So the gray one just shows a part of a sleeve, and even the brown one shows us a part of a sleeve. So Faith, Aren't you to name part some pattern markings under slide nine? As you can see, we had talked about the selvage seam allowances, grain lines, sleeve cap, and underarm seam. So, what do you see there, Faith? Faith, please, are we together? Yes. yes. So, what do you see? I see. I see. Uh... Thank you a lot, Faith. I see you're very attentive. Faith, are you around? Yes. 